Welcome to the 2021 Cambre International Music Festival. For this festival, we're taking you to Vienna, recently crowned as the most livable city in the world. That means it's sort of up there with places like Cambre, because there's nature, birds and trees everywhere, beautiful vistas and great colors, particularly in autumn. But above all, there's art and culture. Look, the National Carillion right behind me. And here we are sitting in front of the National Gallery of Australia. And of course, every year, there's the Canberra International Music Festival. 10 days of great music making, live performances again by all Australian artists. From April 30 to May the 9th, Canberra will be the place to visit. For the 2021 festival, we have assembled artists from all corners of Australia. Songmen from Arnhem Land, as much as artists from inner Sydney or inner Melbourne or inner Canberra, of course. And yes, I am referring to those young new songmen, the Wilfred brothers, and the Tiwi strong women from Tiwi Island. Dobby from the Republic of Murawari and William Barton, an old festival favourite, of course. Brenda Gifford, Chris Sainsbury, Nadi Simpson are all writing new work for the festival. Indeed, we are featuring indigenous artists at every single day of this year's festival. And then we have period specialists like Neil Perez da Costa on Forte Piano, Nicole van Bruggen on classical clarinet and the Australian Romantic and Classical Orchestra. Probably the most prominent period specialists in Australia coming for the first time to the festival. And then we have all our great jazz legends. Sandy Evans, who is reassembling her band specifically for her Gandhi tribute, Ahimsa. And the Australian Art Orchestra, they haven't been seen or heard in Canberra for so many years. And I could go on, of course. We have young artists, many, many young artists, like the young Partridge String Quartet, making its debut at the festival. And then the Golden Gate Brass Quintet, another amazing addition, I think, to Australia's musical scene. And musicians are heroes, really, like Ensemble Offspring, the great mavericks of contemporary music in Australia, and Christian Winter, and Anna de Silva Chen, Sonia Lifshitz, Veronique Serret, and I could go on. Great artists who have made their mark here in Australia. And all those artists who now call Australia home. The idea of Vienna. For most of us, Vienna stands for the central axis in classical music. It's the place where Schubert was born. It's the place where Johann Strauss was born and made his career with waltzes. It's the place where Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven made their career, where they changed musical history. It is also the place of change, the place where around 1900, the visual arts changed, design, philosophy, science, psychology was invented. It's where Sigmund Freud worked. It's where Wittgenstein took the philosophy into the 20th century. It's where Gustav Mahler led the Opera House. A great place of change, designed a little bit like Canberra, designed by enlightened people with great grand boulevards and great palaces. Canberra has boulevards. It doesn't really have palaces, but it has great institutions and some great architecture, like the place where we find ourselves in right now. Come to Canberra and experience an aspect of Vienna that you may have never encountered before. The idea of Vienna, 2021 Canberra International Music Festival.